He is not happy. What do you want me to do, mate? Wow. That's Blenheim Palace. Birthplace of Winston Churchill. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm in the Cotswolds today at um, Blainham. Well, Blainham Palace is over there, but I'm in Blainham Park. I'm not going into Blainham Palace. Uh, just over there, I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, don't know where I'm going, <laughs> but join me. So hot today. Nice to get in a bit of shade. <sighs> cool off for a minute. It's all kicking off in there. Beautiful. Oh, didn't see these guys here. Hello. Keeping in the shade, don't blame you. Hello. Let's go see that. What a scorcher today. Oh, I know I've already said it, but, oh, it's hot. There it is. Column stands at 41 meters high, 134 feet. God, there's a lot of flies here. <laughs> uh, the entrance to the Grand Avenue, and on top of it is the first Duke of Marlborough. And he um, dressed as a Roman general. He's got eagles on the, at his feet and a winged victory in his hand. You can't see it from here, but I'll show you from a different angle. It was. First started, first started building in 1727, and it took three years to build. It is massive. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it's huge. Oh, I've got sweat in my eyes. <laughs> huge. And there's Blenheim Palace. Lovely. However, you can see him now on top. I can zoom in now. There. It is up there. I don't know how good it is. But yes, I can use the zoom because for the first time ever, I got a warning on my GoPro saying that I can't shoot in 4K because it's too hot. <laughs> Never had that before. It shows how hot it is today. And I'm sweating. I'm sweating my eyes. <laughs> Froggy. 
Oh, looks angry. Leave you to it, mate. How beautiful is that? Absolutely stunning. I'm sure you'll agree. Right, I've got something now for all the Harry Potter geeks out there. <laughs> my stepson, he's a massive Harry Potter fan. Actually, my daughter is as well now. Um, one of my daughters. But yeah, something, something here for you to see. It's a Harry Potter tree. How good does that look? Nice, yeah. So this was in, um, what film was it? Harry Potter and Order of the Phoenix. And it was chosen because of this magical hole in its trunk. It only has three branches, because it got struck by lightning. Not in the Harry Potter film, <laughs> in real life. Yeah, cool, yeah. Yeah, it's um, Seed of Lebanon, and it's planted by Capability Brown in the late 1700s. So you're getting a bit of history off me today, isn't it? You don't normally get that. I wouldn't have known it if I didn't read the sign. <laughs> right, so I'm going to just go over there now. Hopefully get as close to Blaine and Palace as I can. I think you're allowed to go over that bridge. Right, that the last look of your Harry Potter fan tree. Harry Potter fans out there. Right, so I'm actually in the Harry Potter tree. <laughs> Why not, innit? I don't think you're supposed to. Well, you're not, I know you're not supposed to. But yeah, I'm going to have a beer in here. Can of Northern Monk, Faith, Hazy Pale Ale. Let's give this a go. Oh, that's nice, lovely. Cheers. Having such a lovely day today. The weather is stunning, and so is the area. As you can see, I must have been sat at that tree, having that can, and having my buddies, and just chilling out for about an hour. It's great. Every time someone walked up to the tree, I stick the Harry Potter music on, <laughs> and they were, they didn't see me there, and they were a bit like, "What the, what the hell's going on?" So that was a bit of a laugh. But yeah, such a nice place to come. If you if you ever want to come here, it's in a town called Woodstock in the Cotswolds. Um half an hour from Carterton, where I'm staying. Um not far from Oxford either. But yeah, absolutely stunning. Definitely be coming back to this area again. And I think I'll go in um play nine. Playing in Palace next time. Take the wife and the kids in there with me. They'll enjoy that. Definitely bring them. Definitely bring them to that Harry Potter tree anyway. Right. I've got an electric fence to get over now. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to attempt it. It's not a very big fence, but I want to see Blaine in Palace. Right. Let's give it a go. Right. 
I'm gonna film this just in case I don't manage to get over it. Yeah, I've had a beer. Hey, made it. <laughs> Look at this, Phil. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. And then you got Blaine and Palace over there. I'm gonna see how close I can get without paying. <laughs> Because <laughs> I said, like I said, I'm going to come back another day. Come on, let's go for it. In the middle of the bridge here now. Amazing. Right. Let's try and get as close to Benham Palace as we can. Come on. Come on, let's go. Nearly there. It's stunning. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. <laughs> there it is. Massive. Got a moat as well, <laughs> so I can't get in. Wow, there's no water in it. Uh, hey ho. It's just stunning. Sorry for saying stunning and gorgeous and beautiful and I haven't said epic yet, it's epic. <laughs> Alright, let's have a little zoom. All day you got to have an ice cream, haven't you? Cherry ice cream. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna end, I'm gonna end the video there. The plane gonna burn me. I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna end the video there. Finish just off of that, off the ice cream. Get back. All right, take care. Ta -ra.